BMW Connected Drive further enhances the experience inside your car with Mobile Office. If your vehicle is equipped with Bluetooth, Mobile Office uses the connection to your smartphone and brings in such office functions as your calendar and emails. In order to ensure that you have Mobile Office active, first go into the Bluetooth menu. From your selected phone, hit the option and scroll down to see what is activated within the Bluetooth telephone menu. In this case, both Bluetooth Audio and Office are activated, ensuring that your full Office functionality is available. Now, from the main menu screen, you see Office as one of the available menu items. Select Office and it will show you a full selection of different features that are available to you via your smartphone and iDrive. The first screen is like a home menu. This provides you an update on the number of unread emails you have, any tasks that you have upcoming, as well as your calendar listing and specific items that you have coming up during your day. Going back, you can see a full list of items that are available with Mobile Office via iDrive. The Mobile Office menu will vary depending on the phone you have connected to it. In this case, we have access to contacts and messages. Within contacts, you have a complete list of all the contacts, both those stored on your phone and also any that you've entered and stored within the vehicle itself. All of these contacts can be accessed and their phone numbers dialed the same as within the telephone menu. The Messages menu in Mobile Office gives you access to SMS, email, and any vehicle related service messages. These can be accessed via the iDrive controller and read back to you via the play button. Hey, I have extra tickets for the basketball game. Meet me by the arena at 6. Emails can be accessed and read to you in the same way. BMW map meeting. Lee John, the meeting has been postponed until 4. Do not forget to bring the presentation with you. Thanks, Michael. To further help you access the specific messages that you'd like to read, there's also a filter function. To access this, scroll to the top of the menu, click, and then select which of the type of messages you'd like to read. This will provide you with a much shorter list so you can quickly access the type of messages you're looking for. Calendar is a summary of all the calendar items that you have coming up within your smartphone. In this case, at 4.30, I have to sell my house. Going into that item, you see you have significantly more detail that could be available to you, including what the appointment is, the time and duration of it, and any additional notes that you might actually have in there. Using the play button, it's possible to have the vehicle read the appointment back to you, including any of the details that you have associated with it. Going into the task menu, you'll get a full list of any of the tasks you've set for yourself during the day. In this case, picking up the dry cleaning. Again, selecting that item will give you additional detail. As before, pushing the play button allows you to have the task read to you by the vehicle. The notepad section provides you a list of any notes that you may have written for yourself. Clicking on the item provides greater detail. Pushing the play button lets the car read the note back to you. With Bluetooth functionality, we now also have the capability of connecting two phones at the same time. This can be especially useful when you have, say, one phone for business and a second for personal use. As an example, we'll connect an iPhone as our secondary phone and also use it as our Bluetooth audio device. Now, this vehicle has both a BlackBerry and an iPhone connected to it at the same time. In this case, the BlackBerry is connected as the primary phone. This allows you full access to all the phone functions, including mobile office, full contact lists, and all ingoing and outgoing calls. The iPhone is being used as a secondary phone. It's possible to receive calls to this phone, however outgoing calls can only be made directly from the phone's keypad. In addition, the phone is also being used as a Bluetooth audio device. The Bluetooth audio is accessed by going to the CD menu under external devices. Pressing the iDrive controller starts playback directly from the phone. Going back to the telephone menu, it's also possible to very quickly and easily switch between your primary and secondary phones. Go to the swap telephone menu item, 
and press down on the iDrive controller. Now, the icon next to the iPhone and the Blackberry has changed. The one next to the iPhone has a little address book to it indicating that it is now the primary phone. This allows it access to the full contact list as well as the ability to make incoming and outgoing calls. The Blackberry can now just be used to receive incoming calls.